D.C. police have jumped on many words, but this latest one is unprecedented, and it affects schools, colleges. The Public University of New Hampshire's bias-free language guide says that the word American is problematic. The preferred term U.S. citizen or resident of the U.S., and that's just the beginning. Here to comment is incoming UNH sophomore and campus correspondent for CampusReform.org, Yvonne Dean Bailey. She is also a Republican, uh, New Hampshire state rep as well. So, Yvonne, you're walking into to this firestorm in the University of New Hampshire, yeah. and that's just one of the words. What do you think about this? Well, I think it's interesting. You know, New Hampshire is supposed to be the live free or die state, but I guess if you go to the University of New Hampshire, there's an asterisk on the end of. Um, well, you know, I've done a lot of work with campus reform, and we've seen um, this occur on many college campuses where micro, the case for microaggression has limited students' free speech. Um, but at the University of New Hampshire, this, is, this isn't just one word or one certain class that the administration is going after. This is a dictionary right. of almost 60 terms um, that are highlighted as problematic, right. and they suggest more politically correct terms to use. Right. I just wonder if uh, someone like you, who has a point of view, uh, or at least you're pro-American, is going to have trouble complying with this. Mm -hmm. Here's what you're walking into and you're transferring to this school. The word rich. Well, we prefer to use, use person of material wealth. Oh, do you want to say the word poor? We prefer you use person who lacks advantages that others have. Really? Who is this making happy? Right, exactly. And, you know, it's something that's definitely going, it's been sparking um, conversation throughout our community here in New Hampshire. A lot of activists and a lot of students are really concerned because here the administration is putting on their website a list of 60 different terms that students shouldn't um, be able to say, which it covers American, even senior citizen, um, and just write down the right. list of terms I use and many of my friends use every single day. All right, let's look at some other terms because I want to learn how to speak more correctly and get this microaggression <laughs> out of my vernacular. Senior citizen, the preferred word is old people or people of advanced age. Thank you. <laughs> I would choose senior citizens, but I'll let the senior citizens decide. Hi, old people. I hear you are of advanced age. Would you like a discount right exactly and even if we look at the term American you know New Hampshire is the first in the nation state and you usually hear you know presidential candidates or even our president say my fellow Americans can you imagine them saying my fellow persons of the United States it's ridiculous you better you better be ready to fight because you're about to start on the wrong foot and, and stand up for yourself Absolutely. <laughs> the word obese we're not going to use the word people of size okay because mm -hmm. people have size. It could be a small size or a big size. <laughs> but don't use the word obese. It's people of size. And by the way, if you're a Caucasian, not anymore. You're a person of European descent. Unless, of course, you're a white guy of not European descent. I don't know if we could fit into that category. It's astronomical. There's over 60 terms in this bias-free guide, and just, I don't know if I can memorize all of them, and I'm sure a lot of students at the University of New Hampshire, um, it, this is basically a phasing out of language that we use every right. single day, um, whether it be saying rich or poor or et cetera, et cetera. Um, these are common terms. This isn't anything derogatory um, that's being changed here.